slice it, push it in, and then as that clay moves up, your hands just come along with it, okay? All right, let's try the second pull again. Again, I'm gonna pinch toward my palm just a little bit and get a little ring of clay that starts to move up the pot and make it taller, okay? Let go of it really gently. And then I'm gonna do that same karate chop motion to, this is called compressing the lip. Just like we compress the bottom, you wanna compress the lip. Now, do you see how my pot is a little bit dry right now? Okay. I'm gonna suck some of the water out of the bottom and then I'm gonna add a little more water to the outside of the pot, okay? Now here's another way to do pulling. This is kind of a second technique. This one I've got my hands at three o'clock and six o'clock. I'm gonna push with the knuckle and move the clay up just like that and release. Okay, and you can see how that moved a lot of the bulk from the bottom of my clay up to the top, right? Each time I'm going to try to go over the lip just a little bit to keep that nice and sturdy, okay? So I need more water on the inside of my pot. I'm not drenching it or soaking it, otherwise it's going to get super slimy and um, soft on you. Now, as the pot gets taller, like I was saying, I'm going to slow my wheel down just a little bit, so I gave it just a teeny bit of pressure to slow it down. All right, and I'm gonna come back. I'm putting my body over the top of the pot. <coughs> my arms are locked in place. And I'm pushing my hands in toward the center of the pot just a little bit and releasing so that that clay moves up and I'm looking down on it and it's keeping it, helping it stay centered for me, okay? Now my walls are starting to get thinner, but I've still got a bit of bulk at the bottom of the pot. So I'm going to pull that stuff up. Okay, one more time, just going to pinch, get some of that clay up off the bottom, pull it into the center, and all the way up. And release it slowly and compress the top. Now you can see where mine's getting a little soft right here. Now from this point, this is about as tall as this pot can go based on the amount of clay that I have. So I'm going to gently come down here, get that extra water out of the bottom. And then from this stage in the game, you can kind of mess with your pot a little bit. So, make sure it's damp enough. I can use my sponge if I want to get rid of those lines. I can use my sponge to smooth out some of the lines if I want to change the shape of it. Now's the time to do that. Okay. Compress the lip. At this point, you want the wheel going fairly slow. Slow down just a little bit. And you don't want to be putting a ton of pressure on your clay. You can also use this tool to cut off some of this extra stuff. So I'm going to draw a little line here with this tool. Just like you did if you threw a plate in here. And this is going to scrape off that extra stuff on the bottom. Okay, to get rid of some of that extra clay, and that can go in your tray. What do we have for time? Not, really. Not much, okay? All right. So here's where you put the finishing touches on your pot. Again, maybe I can pull a little bit of this extra clay off the bottom. I don't want to get too crazy with it. Okay, compress the lip. All right, now your last step. <coughs> I'm going to leave this one like this for now. Turn your wheel off. I got a couple of extra slip trails in there. Or just get your wheel going real slow. I've got a big old puddle of water in the bottom. I'm going to fold my sponge. Soak that up out of there. Go straight up. Okay. You can clean up the outside of it. If the bottom's not exactly how you want it, don't worry about it because you can always trim it with trimming tools later. Okay, but then you're gonna leave it just like this and let it get a bit firmer before you cut the pot off of it. So 
At this point, I wouldn't get a tool and try to cut this off. It's going to collapse on you. Mm. If you use a bat, I'll clean off my wheel first while this clay is still wet and easy to wipe off of there. All right. If you're on the wheels, on one of the wheels that had a bat on it, you can real carefully just lift that off, lift it off, and let it sit out for overnight would be fine. Um, but you need to make sure that you're there the next day to deal with it. If you didn't use a bat, you can leave it right on that wheel and just let it sit there, clean up after yourself, okay? So this is how you would make a cylinder, and the first thing I want you guys to try is a cylinder. Okay, you can stop. Thank you so much for video. Thank you. Okay.